Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from ComputerGarGar.com. In this tutorial, we will look at how to calculate median and mode in Excel. Now, when you talk about finding the average in Excel, this normally involves using the average function, which is one of those standard five aggregate functions of Excel. But what the average function does is it calculates the mean average. And there are two other kinds of average that you can calculate known as median and mode. Now the average, we don't have to worry about finding out because Excel will do for us. But what it does is it adds up, it sums every kind of number in that list and divides it by how many numbers there are. And that's absolutely fine, but some of the things that let it down at times is when you have uh, quite a variance between the numbers. So if you have one number that's extra large, it will distort that average and maybe make it a little bit deceiving. Another type of average, which could be better served in that scenario, is one called median. And what median does is it will find the middle number within that range. Now to calculate the median, if you had a pen and paper, you would have to write down all the numbers, all the values in ascending order, in numerical order. And then if it was an odd number of values, you could go for the one in the middle. If it was an even number of values, you would have to find the mean of the two central numbers. In this scenario, we have an even number of values, and they are not sorted in numerical order. But in Excel, all we have to do is use a function called median, wouldn't you guess it? Which returns the median or number in the middle of a set of given numbers. We'd write it like any function, equals median bracket, and we just supply the range of cells which to calculate and this will give us the median value which in this example is 60 so just for understanding of how it has calculated that if I was to sort this list of values there are 10 it has found the two values the two central values there values 5 and 6 added them together 55 and 65 is 120 divided by 2 to calculate the mean of the two central numbers which is 60 but it wasn't sorted in that order to begin with and we didn't have to worry about it you know 10 values not so tough thousands of values thank you mr median function now next up is mode. Now finding the mode or the modal value is to find the value that occurs most frequently within a list. And I can see in this nice simple list of 10 that that value is 77 because it happens to be the only value that occurs more than once. But in a large list I wouldn't know that and I can use the function called mode on that range of cells to return for me the modal value 77 is the mode the number that occurs most frequently now that's okay if there is only one mode but there is a chance that there is a conflict and there is more than one modal value now for that I'm going to switch sheet at the bottom here and go for a function called mode.mult one that can find multiple modal values and I've got a situation here where I have created number 77 occurs three times number 65 occurs three times and also number 52 occurs three times now in reality you wouldn't know that I've created a situation where I do know that and I know I have three 
modal values. A table has been set up for the most frequent values and I'm going to select all three cells of that table and start writing a function called mode.molt which returns a vertical array and the most frequently occurring values in a range. Now this is an array function so when I finish writing this I will hold down control shift and enter not just enter to run it and it will run the array function and put them curly braces on the end. So mode.molt I would select the range of cells I want to look for the mode of values in close in bracket but then control shift and enter that runs that function and returns the three most frequently occurring values in the formula bar above I can see that it's put these curly braces around that formula which indicate that it is an array function now in reality you may not know that there's three values so just playing with that I might select a bunch of cells equals mode dot molt and run it on that range close in bracket control shift enter and I'd get these hash and A's to indicate that there are no more you know I can always tidy them up by uh, by, by being cheeky and hiding them really <laughs> as much as I can do thought I could delete them there, I forgot about that um, or you can rerun it once you do know but in here I knew there was free I can work around that in reality you know you may have to check it first to see what you do get but mode.molt is there for returning multiple modal values and there's a look at calculating the median and mode functions uh, within Excel Thank you for watching this tutorial. Uh, please check out some of the other tips and tricks we have for you at Computer Gaga.